Insert record scratch. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up on the back end of a big ass animal flying through the air. <laughs> Fun story. So last night around 9.30, I get a FaceTime call from Ken Whittakin, the owner of Wit Machine, telling me I gotta go to the rodeo tomorrow night, which would be tonight. Tells me I'm gonna need boots that can accept spurs. The next thing that made me, well, let's say, slightly concerned, is he said, don't worry. When you get up, you'll have knocked all the Yankee off you. They won't tell me what I'm riding. But I got boots on. And apparently that's enough. I know it's not a horse. It's not a sheep. But it's the size of a camel? Three motherfuckers have talked me into this. And the thing I like least is... My wife ain't with me. So if I get hurt, I have to rely on these numbskull motherfuckers to get me to the ER. Pretty sure the ER is like 52 miles away from the Paducah Rodeo. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, my life is a fucking cartoon. I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. Say it again. I'm at a rodeo and I don't know what I'm riding. Staff, we're going to welcome to the arena a little color, a little pageantry. Would you welcome one of the oldest events in our game of rodeo, our grand entry here tonight. This should be a lot of fun. That motherfucker killed me. That's all we need to know is that dude right there got me killed. Two, one, let's ride! <laughs> to one, slide back and shoot number one. Three, two, one, let's ride! As you may have guessed by now, news of my demise has been greatly exaggerated. Um, they did end up putting me on something called a beefalo, uh, which apparently is like a buffalo-cow hybrid. Um, they're either super, like, docile or they're metered and shit. Uh, the one that I got was not super crazy. Um, he came out of the gate, spun sideways, spread my legs like a hooker on prom night, and threw my ass to the ground. Thankfully, uh, because of my ninja cat-like reflexes, I was able to land on my feet and not break a fucking anything. Uh, the guy on the other beefalo did not fare so well. Uh, that thing threw him straight on his skull. Uh, he was okay. Uh, he got right up. Uh, we went, congratulated each other for not dying, and then uh, I went home and hugged my wife and said, oh, I'm so thankful to be alive. But uh, all in all, my life is indeed a cartoon. Um, I get like weird requests like this all the time. Uh, they did not tell me what I was riding until about an hour before I was on the animal. And uh, even that was an accident. The, um, the woman that was putting everything together came over and she's like, so are you ready to ride the buffalo? And Ken was standing next to her um, and was like, Shh, he doesn't know. So that was mildly amusing. Um, which everything we do is mildly fucking amusing. Uh, it is Sunday. It is Easter. Happy, uh, happy Easter. Estar Ostar day to whoever is celebrating whatever today. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit of shooting today and I'm probably going to start working on repainting that 
which means I'm going to pull out a DeWalt grinder and make whole lots of noise and lots and lots of powder. Uh, I also have a prime rib going into the smoker a la Caleb Francis. Because um, I'm not going to lie, looking at that boy's meat makes my mouth water. So I'm going to break the smoker back out and see what I can do. You guys have a great day. Uh, if you're with your family, do that. If you're not with your family, um, I'm sorry. But uh, deuces.